This is a bridge that leads to nowhere. In the leafy London suburbs it's supposed to connect, it has become a symbol of political squabbling between local authorities and the government. The daily commute resembles an obstacle course, where children and parents are bumping into each other over railway lines through unlit woods with no social distancing. And if it's been raining, this is what they face. Not just school children who are affected, um, elderly residents have doctors, uh, hospital appointments on the other side of the bridge and simply can't get there. They're having to do two hour bus journeys or pay £50 for a taxi return to get to essential services. From this 19th century cast iron construction to the 1970s steel and concrete formation of London Bridge behind me, it would appear that the city's famous river crossings are in a state of disrepair. Even London's iconic Tower Bridge had to close for two days recently because of a fault with its drawbridge mechanism. Now the rows between local and central government authorities still can't figure out over who exactly is responsible for repairing them. The British Transport Secretary has since launched a task force that he assures will be decisive, quick and take steps that will be good for commuters, good for residents and good for business. But many remain wary of central government's big promises to repair essential infrastructure. The complex and difficult part, which is working out how you restore a mid-19th century cast iron bridge, which there aren't really any precedents to do, that has been worked out at great cost and with the some of the best bridge experts in the world, but you have to then have the money. Only central government has the money. They haven't until two weeks ago even engaged with us. They have now by setting up a task force, but they could have done that a year ago. The years of austerity are also being blamed. The government reduced local authority budgets by up to a third in urban areas. That has left its mark on infrastructure all over the country, and the pandemic has only worsened matters. Buried underneath this story is the fact that municipalities in uh, Britain and at the moment the Mayor of London, who, whose transport authority has lost a huge amount of revenue because of COVID-19 uh, radically reducing passenger numbers. You know, the truth is only the UK national government has the kind of resources at the moment to deliver uh, and improve this kind of bridge. The many crossings along the River Thames are critical to connecting the British capital. The question is, will the public purse be generous enough to stop London's bridges from falling down? Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.